A wet or damp basement is a breeding ground for mold. Uh, mold develops within the first 24 to 48 hours and action needs to be taken within this time in order to eliminate mold growth. It's very important. Mold can reproduce rapidly unless steps are taken to dry the basement. We need to dry that basement. If we leave the mold to multiply, you're going to find it growing on your walls, ceilings, and it will begin to uh, produce a musty odor throughout the home and in the basement. Well, mold takes a lot of forms. It's usually a black stain that, that is produced on the sheetrock. You'll see it through the paint. It'll look a little black. Um, and on sheetrock walls or plaster walls. So you need to look for this. If you see that, you know you have a mold problem. Um, the most important thing in a damp or wet basement is to eliminate the source of the water. For example, if you have a, a water coming in from groundwater, you can't just fix the mold and expect it not to happen again. You need to put in a waterproofing system. If there is a leaky pipe or if there is a uh, broken water heater, whatever the source of the water needs to be addressed before or during the mold process. It's very important. Otherwise, you're just going to be uh, go going back up the hill again. At the same time, we cannot discount uh, the mold growth itself. You know, we need to remove the mold. If it's gone past 48 hours and uh, you have a moldy smell, you need to remove the sheetrock or building materials in order to be, uh, you know, to efficiently uh, get rid of this mold uh, threat. It's very important. You know, multiplying the mold spores can spread throughout the entire home. It can cause allergic reactions. We need to be careful of this in small children. Asthmatic episodes, um, infections and other, uh, other respiratory problems are inherent. Um, repeated exposure to mold can permanently injure the nasal passages uh, and, you know, most, of the mo most susceptible are the elderly and young children. So we want to be very careful if we have a mold present in our basements. Well, like I said, the first thing we need to do is eliminate the source of the water. Um, and we need to, uh, uh, you know, remove the mold from the walls. And, and in most cases, we need to remove the sheetrock. Um, if you're unlucky enough to finish the basement with sheetrock or plaster or paneling, um, usually you have to remove and replace these, these items. It's an organic substance that is inherent to mold growth and it's a, it's a big problem. Um, you may want to look into some of these specialty companies that do basement finishing that that's, uh, specifically identify no mold growth, no organic materials as their wall panels, their flooring, and of course their ceilings. Uh, basement is a specialty environment and we want to be careful what we put down in there. We can't just throw down organic materials in a cave-like environment and expect them not to be damaged. Um, inherently in a basement, uh, it's wet, damp, moist, and we want to make sure that uh, we have materials down there for finishing that are conducive to the environment. So um, besides removing the mold and uh, replacing the building materials, you know, we're going to want to uh, treat the subfloor area. Um, uh, by reducing, you know, the water that's underneath there, you want to put a waterproofing system in if it's groundwater coming up. In conjunction with that, you want to take the air, the damp, moist air underneath that slab and get it out from underneath that slab. Excellent product comes to mind is Humidivac. You want to install one of these and these are going to, to treat the sub-slab area where 80% of your moisture in the basement comes from. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to dehumidify the existing air in the basement uh, by use of dehumidifiers. Heavy duty industrial dehumidifiers are, are very good and we want to um, make sure that the dampness in the air is turned back into water then pumped out of the basement. Air exchange is also a big, uh, big item in a basement. We want to make sure we exchange the air. Uh, preferably bringing the uh, warmer air from upstairs down into the basement is the best way to handle the situation. It, due to the whole house effect and the, the air going up and, and escaping through the roof and through the vents and through the chimney, uh, if we reverse the whole house effect and bring that air down into the basement, we utilize that normally wasted warm air and bring it down to the basement and achieve a 72 degree Fahrenheit, which is optimum for drying out a basement. One of the concerns with mold are dust mites. Uh, they're microscopic cousins of the tick and spider, and they feed on dead skin cells. And uh, they thrive in places like mattresses, pillows, bed covers, carpets, stuffed toys, furniture, and clothes. Um, the waste produced by, wet, uh, by dust mites is one of the top factors in causing asthma and allergies. 
you know, multiplying tenfold daily dust mites may seem uh, to be an impossible problem to tackle. Um, but if you do not defend against dust mites, you're leaving yourself in harm's way. And, um, you know, allowing uh, dampness in your basement is a, a top producer for dust mites in the home. Dust mites are unable to, um, to, to eat water and instead absorb it from the air. Um, dust mites thrive in humid environments, basements. They love basements. And they, uh, they fluctuate with the, syst uh, with the season. So when it's rainy out, you're going to have more dust mites down there than normal. Um, it's a perfect environment. Your basement's a perfect environment for dust mites. And we want to make sure that we keep that basement dry to keep your home healthy. So uh, to recap, we have, um, it's necessary to mitigate the damage in a basement, especially if you have building materials down there within 24 to 48 hours. You want to dry that basement up. You want to use air movement. Um, you want to use germicide, mildicide within that 48 hours to eliminate mold damage. You want to introduce air behind the walls uh, with a germicide, mildicide. Um, you want to make sure that we kill the potential mold from growing before it grows on the building materials. If you go past 48 hours, then it will be necessary to remove and replace sheetrock materials or anything organic such as wood. Um, these items will grow mold and they will remain damp. And, um, you know, proper dehumidification in the basement, proper waterproofing systems, uh, making sure that we address the source of the water first or while we're taking the mold-laden materials out of the basement is very important. And keeping a clean, dry environment by installing a waterproofing system with proper dehumidification products um, is very important.